what would you do to install best practices for revenue attribution? That's, mm-hmm. that's really, I think would be really interesting because it, it gives us a lot of, you know, room to room to, to run. Yeah. And it's a very exciting question for a salesperson because I run sales <laughs> at Dream Data. And what if I was a CMO? How would I yeah. do the work? Yeah. So, okay, somebody hired me, a salesperson, as a CMO at a company that is sales driven. huh? Mm-hmm. And they're trying to kick off their marketing and so on. So the first and the far most important thing is to set the CMO free for a long time. Yeah. So if sales are steering marketing's work, it's very likely not going to perform as you expect it to do because it's such a different discipline. Sales might be thinking what's helping their clients to buy, but they know their clients already there when they're in the consideration phase Mm -hmm. or when they're getting them on the cold calls. They're still not aware and so on. Mm -hmm. And education of your clients is a total different realm than what sales know about at all Mm -hmm. so if i was a cmo first of all before i'm hired i would have a serious talk with the ceo of where am i going to have my mark what do you expect from me who am i going to collaborate with and how much freedom do i have and that might be a lot of nice words because everybody would say Mm -hmm. oh you're yeah you're free to go and so on yeah but what are you going to measure me upon right and when because marketing takes time B2B marketing, so we've we've run some overviews of our clients. So an average B2B SaaS customer journey takes 192 days. 192 days to close a business from awareness, first touch in the customer journey, Mm -hmm. up till the business is closed. So if you have that time and you would say to a CMO, oh, yeah, you kick off your things and so on, and then we will measure you in a month or two. Well, that's not going to work. And then as soon as you know your cu- the length of the customer journey, the CMO also has to be chosen in the right direction because the CEO has to ask the CMO what will be the first things that you're going to do. Because mm-hmm. if the CMO starts talking about, oh, we're going to be building the brand and redoing the website and all that kind of beautiful things, the things that are seen on the mark of the CEO would see the actual website. Oh, yes, he or she did the work. They changed mm-hmm. the website, but it did, did it bring any revenue? And then the CMO could start like lowballing, say, yeah, but it takes time and so on. So there has to be a balance of the expectations and the deliveries. At Dream Data, when we started our marketing and did not have that much of demand to start with, what our CMO started to do is creating articles and information to our prospect buyers about everything that sales have been asked on the calls. Whenever we had a question on a sales call we could not answer or needed a longer explanation, that means that there are more people on the web looking for those answers. Then we would create a blog or a document about it, and we just continue doing that. If you have zero content or very high level content, get very basic into what questions your buyers are looking to get answered. As soon as you've got that, go higher up level and start educating your market. And then you can talk about sales and marketing, alignment, whatever it is Mm -hmm. that you're selling, like higher level Mm -hmm. information so that when they come to you to learn that stuff, they will also learn about the questions that our buyers usually are asking. And then they're closer into the sales conversation because a lot of questions would be answered by your articles before they actually meet sales. And that will save sales time as well. For sure. I, I would just say that like that, that underscores a lot of the things I've, I've been saying for years. And to simplify it, I would say sales is not marketing and marketing is not sales. And the, a lot of times I have to um, install a new mindset for um, the manager or and or executives that are bringing me in because they're they're, they're very, a lot of times short-term thinking, they're very results tomorrow driven uh, because they've been doing sales for a number of years. And so now they want marketing to do what sales was doing. And that doesn't work. 